Well, a fix is on the way for those who struggled with the biggest bugbear of the mobile digital era, phone dropouts. With a $100 million contribution of its own, the government's pulled together a $370 million mobile black spot program. The big phone companies are on board with it and so are the states and territories. It should all lead to almost 500 new mobile phone base stations. The Parliamentary Secretary for Communications and a former phone company executive himself, Paul Fletcher, has been explaining how the black spot scheme will work. The first of the 499 new or upgraded base stations are expected to roll out before the end of this year and the rollout will continue over a three-year period. So the Abbott government came to power with a commitment to spend $100 million. I'm really pleased we've been able to leverage that to $385 million in total investment thanks to good contributions from the state governments. Each of New South Wales, Victoria, WA have put in over $20 million each. Uh, and also uh, the investments from Telstra, 165 million, Vodafone, 20 million. So that's today we're announcing the results of round one of the mobile black spots program. But what we're also announcing is that there will be a round two, and we've allocated a further $60 million of Commonwealth money towards that. Now, I would hope that again we'll be able to leverage that with contributions from the private sector and once again we'll be talking to the states and saying, do you want to work with us? There's been great cooperation between the federal government and state governments, Liberal and Labor, because all of us understand the importance of rural and regional communities getting better mobile coverage. And some of the emphasis in this round two seems to be on the faster 4G level of service in rural areas, is that well, right? Well, one of the other things we're announcing today is a commitment from Telstra actually as part of its response to Round 1, that in addition to the base stations it is building under Round 1, which is 429, so 429 from Telstra, 70 from Vodafone under Round 1, but Telstra has also said it will build 200 4G mini base stations. Now, these are much smaller. They have a radius of about 300 metres, but they could be very useful in small villages that don't have coverage, uh, where you'll be able to cover the totality of the village. Uh, it's a 4G, fourth generation service, initially data, over time it'll be voice, uh, and th they'll need to be in areas where there's optical fibre and an exchange. Now Telstra has over 5,000 exchanges around the country, so that's an exciting additional element of what's being announced today.